on in. That's good timing. I've been here about 10 minutes. Really? And I just, instead of turning the heat up, I just kept my, uh, kept my sweater on. Oh, yeah, just throw it anywhere. Yeah, we got to down to Micro Center in Johnson County, and it turns out uh, they don't open till 10. Till 10? We got there at 9.35. So we just sat there. When we got there, there was like one car in the parking lot. And while we sat there for that 25 minutes, that parking lot filled up. Wow. Waiting, people waiting to go into Micro Center. That's, that's what comes of being the only show in town. I'm glad you're home. Yeah? That wind's a little chilly out there today. Yes. <coughs> yes, it is. thinking about going to Von Trent but just decided no <coughs> not a good thing though because usually on Fridays they don't have shit and they're worth grabbing yeah if you're not there first thing <coughs> or even then but I still got pie left I can only eat a little at a time Did Tammy take you shopping this morning? Yep. <coughs> Went up there and got some groceries. Yeah. And they had them uh, big, what, three pound tubes of sausage? Yeah. Farmland sausage. She went to grab one of them. I said, no. She grabbed about three of them. <laughs> Now they will have sausage stretches the rest of the month. There you go. <coughs> then they have this package of ground beef, but they had ground beef and sausage mixed in with it. Yeah. She says, I'm grabbing that to make a meatloaf out of it. <coughs> I said, that's, that's the only way to make leaf meatloaf anyway, just throw a little sausage in with your burger. Oh yeah, that's really good. I mean, that gives a little bit of added flavor, I think. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, Tammy makes a good meatloaf. Now if we can just get our landlord to get off his ass and get us another refrigerator, so we can use one of them little small ones. <coughs> Your big ones best? <coughs> Yeah, the refrigerator part quit working on. The freezer part still works, but the refrigerator part just quit. Oh, there you go. <coughs> and uh, we cleaned it all out. He come by one night and we, <coughs> we had it turned off, you know, and laid it down on its back and uh -huh. took a vacuum to all the coils on the underneath side. And <coughs> like a dummy, when he set it back up, he plugged it back in, turned it back on, and said, you got to let that set for 24 hours before you do that. Uh, he said, not always. Yeah. Uh, most of them I ever known, you lay them down or side and set them up and plug them in, turn them on, screws them up. Yeah, you're supposed to wait 24 hours. <coughs> Woo. 
and this one here is kicker, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, getting down to the bottom of the bottle. Got a big long black trench coat too. Did you see that long ranger <laughs> on the weather forecast? No, I saw it was going to be 50 next week. Oh, Thursday or Friday, it's going to be up to 69 up around 70. Sweet. But you must, the minute that happens, the next week it's going to drop off cold again. <laughs> but it can't do that too many more times. <coughs> Well, a couple I more. told Tammy, I said, you know, if it does that, and the warm air sticks around, it's going to be another year of early spring, and gardening and everything ain't going to be worth a shit again. Well, it depends. I'm going to get a tomato plant for my porch. That's what me and Tammy do. We had a tomato plant last year. Last year we put one in the big round flower pot. Yeah. We threw it out of flower pot on the back porch. That's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and this friend of ours, <coughs> she gave me a good idea for, for like a little gardening thing out outside in your yard, like yeah. a raised garden. Yeah. Instead of using wood, just get your small juice tires. Fill them up with potting soil. That she works. She said they don't rot. And they're weatherproof. Yeah. You could even stack a couple of them up if you needed to. You know, I watched the moonshine. It was there on Discovery. Yeah. These one old boys were setting up their camp, their steel site, and all that. The guy took a couple of Goodyear tires. They found out, <laughs> stacked on top of the, each other over a hole ahead in the ground. Uh huh. Said, "Dang, everybody has a Goodyear pooper." It <laughs> <laughs> kind of cracked me up, man. There you go. There's a lot of uses of an old tire coming handy for me. Right? That's the sheriff one. Huh? Sheriff deputy just drove down the street. I wonder what he's looking for. Probably going to kick somebody out, right? That's the, only that's the only reason the sheriff comes here is to evict somebody. Evict somebody or looking for somebody with a warrant, you know? Yeah. Or... It might just be a paper sir serving papers. Yeah. Like yeah. a like a subpoena to court or something. Right. The most time I have ever seen sheriff down here in the trailer court. That tells me somebody's getting evicted. <laughs> yep. No other reason for the sheriff to come down here to the ghetto other than to keep somebody out. Nope. You're too poor for the ghetto. Go live in the street. Yeah. It's a good day.
And it was just a few minutes after 10 when I left the house. Uh -huh. Went out in front and started waiting for the bus. He picked me up. Well, about time to fix me up, I'll get down there. He might be back home by then. Yeah. <coughs> we would have been even earlier if. Now, I had no idea Micro Center didn't open until 10 o'clock. No, Micro Center, that's out in Johnson County? 93rd, 93rd Metcalf. Okay. Which reminds me, that's the place, I mean, you know, that's the best, the place she's going to get the best deal. I wonder if there are little sale yeah. things. Yeah, this one they stuck in my bag today. <coughs> but it's only a two-pager, so they also send me these in the mail. What? There's no printers in here that I see. It'd have to be another month or two before you do anything. I know. I was just looking for prices. They send me these things in the mail too, and they're usually five or six pages. No, that's the only bad thing about Wanda County. Yeah. There's only one shopping place where you go shopping. That's up around the legends, not racetrack. That's it. <laughs> now, yeah. Indian Springs, they already start tearing that some bitch down. I know. <laughs> I know. And I remember when they built it. <coughs> well, I remember back in the 40s. Yeah, no, so I They used to be all like wooded area. I know. I know. And the bad thing when they built that place is built, by what I heard, it was built like right on top of three different springs. Two, three different springs right underneath that sign. That's uh, Hello, probably true. I mean, they call it Indian Springs. Off to, turns off, off toward the river. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. The biggest shopping complex in Wyandotte County is the Legends. Definitely. Now it is, yeah. Yeah. It's only one. Well, yeah. I mean, any other places? In some other county. <laughs> That's right. <coughs> and like I say, in the springs have done stored tearing that down, so that's north of the river there. and west of the state line, yeah. Legends is pretty much it. They took over. Okay. Oh Missouri might have professional football team and professional baseball team. But the state of Kansas has NASCAR track. <laughs> and it's almost a two-mile trail. That's right. <coughs> a trial. <coughs> Not exactly dime shape or triangle shape, but almost. Yeah. NASCAR. Yeah, it starts up this weekend. Yeah. Tomorrow night on Channel Four. Sometime. I think probably about six, six thirty.